So you thought that Williams was going to be the only one with a special livery at Monaco this year? McLaren's gonna have one too, and people didn't see it. You see, yesterday, McLaren put out a little tribute video to their triple crown in that they won Le Mans, the Indy 500, and the Monaco Grand Prix, and nobody watched it. But I watched it, and I noticed something very interesting indeed. Everybody knows about the commemorative thing they're doing with the liveries at the Indy 500. Their drivers there, Felix Rosenqvist, Pato Award, and of course Alexander Rossi, have got special liveries dedicated towards all of their past victories. But McLaren had been a little bit silent as to what they were going to be doing at Monaco. Back in 2021, when they were partnered with Golf, they actually did a livery which nobody expected and everyone adored. And did they do it the following year? No! No, they didn't, and nobody knew why. But now we know that Golf is going to be doing something with Williams at Monaco this year, so at least something's going to be there. And what they're going to be doing is still a little bit vague, but we'll find out on Friday as to what they're doing. Hopefully it's not just the pit crew look blue. But I wanted to show you something that you didn't actually see. Right at the end of the special video, we cut to a little box showing pictures of all of the different cars from the different disciplines of motorsport. And right there, Monaco GP 2023, is the MCL 60 in a different livery. And presuming that they're going to win this Grand Prix, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm a McLaren fan and even I don't think they're gonna win. They're gonna be lucky to score points. No disrespect to McLaren, but I'm just being honest. But we don't see the MCL 60 livery here. Instead, it looks black and a little bit of white with a little bit of orange at the back. So what could this mean? Well, I think this is going to be a little bit of a mishmash of all the different liveries that we're going to be seeing at the Indy 500. We can't get a really clear picture here because it was just a little bit of a Polaroid. So I managed to sort of mishmash it a little bit in Photoshop and I managed to get a very, very blurry image as you can see here. But what you can definitely tell is that the MCL 60 livery is going to be practically the same in terms of composition, but the coloration and different bits of the composition itself are going to differ slightly. The first bit is from 1995 when the McLaren F1 GTR won Le Mans. It was an all black design, which we've not really seen since 2015's McLaren, and that was a really rough time, wasn't it? The Yannick Dalmas, JJ Leto, and Masanoi Sekia one in that particular class. The white design comes from 1984 when Alain Prost won the Monaco Grand Prix and surprisingly that was the first time that McLaren actually won that race. They've been around since the late 60s and they hadn't previously won. Then I checked my books and uh, yeah, they hadn't won previously. And then the orange bit comes from 1976 when they won the Indy 500 with Johnny Rutherford. Hence why McLaren moved back to papaya. That was their original colours of the orange and blue. That's why I feel like the 2019 McLaren was pretty much the best tribute as to their original colours. The front wing and the nose is going to be from the Le Mans car. The main side pod bit is going to be from the MP42. That white bit and the little triangle bit to then go into the Le Mans bit. And then right at the back with the rear wing and maybe a little bit of the engine cover is going to be from the Indy 500 Papaya. Hopefully it's going to look a little less bare than we've seen with the MCL60 because it's practically all just black and carbon fibre. So it might be a little bit more colourful. Hopefully they might have gotten around their weight loss things or maybe they're thinking, oh, it's Monaco. Let's just have fun with it. So yeah, if you really want to go and check out that video, you really, really should. It's a really wonderful tribute to what McLaren have actually achieved over the years. People may think that McLaren is a really mediocre team, but in reality, they do have a lot of history. They are pretty much the second longest team in the sport other than Ferrari, so they do deserve some kudos. I'll be covering my thoughts on what the Williams car looks like when it comes out on Friday, and I really, really hope it's actually going to be a livery design instead of just a little thing where all of the staff actually wear something that is light blue and orange. Hopefully the car gets that treatment too. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this McLaren livery properly. But I quite like this design. It's a really nice, simple tribute. And the Indy 500 liveries were gorgeous, especially Felix's car, which is essentially the MP42. And the Indy cars of these days do look like the 80s cars. Obviously, it's not the Marlboro Red. It's the McLaren Papaya, but it sort of reminds me of the Marlboro Light Yellow, which was not a good look. Whether or not this actually improves their performance on the track, uh, who knows? But at least they're going to look nice. Hopefully not at the back. If you want to know my thoughts about other McLaren liveries as well as other teams, go and take a look at this video here and see how ugly it can get. Thank <laughs> you.